Hi Scorpio, thanks for showing up to watch this video. It's your April reading um, for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and maybe you're spying on Scorpio, that's okay too. So we're gonna look at April's overall lesson, money and career, your love life, other people, how they're gonna affect your April, your emotional self, and then your crystal of the month. So let's get started. Okay, Scorpio, first thing, there's a little challenge card here. And they're saying that the challenge is, um, you know, related to pain or disappointment, that whole concept of what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? And so they're saying um, it's going to be very, very challenging for you to sort of like align your energies and to go, you know what, um, I can transform my thoughts. I really can do that and I can manifest love into like all of these situations and you know all of my thoughts can be loving that's not always easy especially when we're hurting right so they're saying the other challenge here is um, releasing any negative feelings that we have any pain that we have like transmuting those just handing them over to spirit to angels God Allah you know the universe whatever saying take these thoughts away turn them into something better for me and then send them back you know I have this feeling and I don't like it, take it away, transform it into something positive and then just zap that back down through my crown chakra. And these are the kind of prayers or affirmations that you wanna make in, um, or even things you wanna ask for in meditation. They say that this is a good way to practice self-love. And I want you to notice that all in all three of those cards, all of the chakra colors are represented here, okay? And so they're saying you have to love yourself first before you're capable of fully loving other individuals or attracting other people into your life that will serve your highest good. Now, um, I want you to see in this deck, yes, there are um, cards that have all of these um, colors in there, but there are things that are, you know, focused on specific chakras. The There's like the heart chakra there. There's the throat chakra heart chakra, um, heart chakra again, your fear chakra, okay, and then we've got, again, fear chakra, your sacral, heart, sacral, <laughs> um, you know, throat, the, so anyway, what are the chances that all of them would come up saying now, you know, these feelings that you're having, these challenges that you're facing, they're affecting you on all levels, it's pretty slim. So um, we're going to want to make sure that we are focused on all of our uh, chakra energies and clearing any blockages that we have, you know, clearing and um, recharging or energizing all of those this month. Now, in regards to money and career, what's going on for Scorpios, and they're saying there is going to be a reason for you to celebrate, and intuitively you might feel this coming, but sort of doubt it because you're like, you know, things like like really awesome lucky things don't typically happen for me, or so-and-so isn't... Um, doesn't think that, you know, I'll get this promotion or, you know, so or so and so says, you know, don't dream big like that. You know, um, people who want to become, maybe you want to play baseball or something. And they're like, you know what, that's hard. It's harder to become a pro baseball player than it is to become the president. Like get real with yourself. They're like, don't listen to people like that. Okay. Your dreams are your dreams and you need to follow your own intuitive guidance to find your own happiness. And it looks like this month might be either the start of that path and the path is going to be winding. Some of you will come to the end of that path. Okay. And you will experience all of this um, happiness and joy. But for the majority of you, it's um, going to be the start down like kind of a winding road towards achieving your dreams and the things that you desire um, with little um, with little like reinforcements along the way. So let's say you wanted to start your own business, okay? And you create a Facebook business page and right away you get 100 likes and follows on your Facebook business page. And so it's like, okay, I'm not Oprah yet, but you know what? I am doing pretty good considering I just started down this path, okay? So that's what I mean. 
what else do we need to know about career or money? And they're saying, um, you know, a lot of you have separated yourself from toxic situations, toxic belief systems in regards to abundance, um, cleared away any blockages that you've had, walked away from jobs that weren't good for you. Um, you're still maybe not spoiling yourself enough yet, uh, but, but you know, your relationship with money is now better than it was before. You might not be entirely organized. You might not have your shit entirely together, but you're walking down the right path. Now, in regards to your love life, Scorpios, they're saying total balance here. You've got a good control over your emotions here in your love life, whether you're single or coupled. Like you're in a good emotional space in which things can grow, where they can prosper, where a lot of happiness can be obtained. And they're saying, if you want to make love your focus this month, it's not so much about going out and finding love or showing love to others, um, because that could result in some dramatic situations and make you feel a little bit crazy town. But they're saying it's more about celebrating the fact that you know you're on the right path because your emotions are becoming more still and more calm, because you know that things are going to grow out of that, despite what other people think. And again, um, celebrating little reminders or signs or omens along the way that show you, wait, yeah, this is right. So a good example was um, personally, and I, I talked about this last month for, for one of the signs. So if it was you, I apologize that it's redundant, but it was like, okay, I'm not in a good space or time to welcome new love into my life right now. Just not like I'm not interested in dating, but um, like way too busy, blah, blah, blah. But I was, I, I was thinking about it and I was telling my friend, you know, like, it might be hard for me to find somebody who is the same religion as me, um, but then is also open to what I do because it's a little bit um, questionable for the majority of people um, that are part of my faith. And just because they don't understand it, right? People are afraid of what they don't understand. But then on top of that, you know, uh, oh, so my... My ex-husband was Latino, and so, you know, stereotypically, like, very um, family-oriented, like, loves his babies and just, like, wants to do everything as a family, and then my partner for the next half decade after that um, was of my same faith, and so he was Arab, and so the problem is, like, where am I going to find somebody that's, like, a good blend of both. I was telling my girlfriend, this is what I would want. Like, I want somebody who speaks Spanish like I do, who would take me, like, dancing and, you know, be very family-oriented, but then also, like, really enthusiastic about religion. So I was like, I don't know that people like that exist. The very next day, I went to work, and I met a guy who was, um, he was a surgeon whose parents were, he was like Shakira, right, where his mom was from Colombia or something, and then his dad was from, you know, Turkey or something. <laughs> so he was a Spanish speaking and like, um, like to dance and things like that. So he was a Spanish guy, but then he was also a Muslim. So it was like, oh my gosh, what are the chances? And so even though I wasn't ready and I wasn't attracted to him or anything, like wasn't, wasn't interested in him at all. But that's my point is I could celebrate that the universe knows what I want and this is showing me that I'm on my right path, okay? That the universe will provide for me what I desire that it actually does exist. Because it's like, how many people like that exist? Probably not that many. Okay, well, guess what? There's like 9 billion people in the world. People like that do exist and the universe will connect you with your right person. So anyway, it's, it's about celebrating little signs that, yes, 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 I'm on the right path. You don't have to go out and find anything this month, but be really content and happy when um, signs are shown to you that you're on the correct trajectory. So whether you're with somebody now and, um, you know, maybe the relationship isn't moving as quickly as you want, you're not getting the type of commitment you want, but, um, you know, they say something or they do something that shows that actually, yeah, they're very committed to the long term. Um, situation with you, just maybe not at the same pace, then that would be a sign that is worth celebrating. Or, um, you know, maybe out of the blue, somebody reaches out to you and you were like, you know, um, this is amazing because this is the kind of person that I would want to be with, you know? And so even if they are not 
um, reaching out to you because of romantic intention or anything like that. It's like, okay, the universe is getting closer though. This is a sign. Like they're listening to what it is that I desire, what it is that I'm asking for. So celebrating those little moments. So how are other people going to be affecting your April? And they're saying, um, well, other people might be a little bit defensive in regards to, um, like what you have going on in regards to your money, your career. So like basically you have these new ideas, okay? Or um, maybe you have like a business plan or something like that. And they might be like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to help you, if I want to invest in that. That kind of a strange energy. Um, ideas that you have about maybe, you know, moving or um, anything related to purchases, any sort of earth energy stuff, you know, money, wealth, home, um, things that are real, you know, cars, investments. Um, you might not have a ton of support there. Uh, and, you know, it's because other people just are not radiating that same love that you are. And so they're like, okay, well, I could, you could spend a lot of time trying to work to convince them to be on the same page with you, but ultimately maybe just like kind of go, mm, okay, whatever, I'm going to do me. It doesn't have to be that deep. I know Scorpio, I'm a Scorpio moon. <laughs> so we want to feel very deeply about anything like, cause apathy is worse than not feeling <laughs> at all, even if it's something negative, but they're saying you just keep doing what you're doing. Um, so yeah, sure. Some challenges aren't worth it, but new opportunities are coming for you regardless of, um, you know, like other people's opinions. So if somebody, for example, let's say um, you're going to start selling windows, okay? You you got this job and you're going to start selling windows to people. Um, and so you're going homeowner to homeowner to home, home, homeowner and like the first nine people are like, I don't, I'm not interested in your windows. You might be kind of like, okay, man, I gotta, I gotta convince one of these people to buy some windows because I'm working for 100% commission and this isn't working out for me. Like, I'm really bummed. Um, and they're like, no, 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 no. Because the 10th or the 11th one, you don't know. They might say, yeah, not only am I gonna buy windows for my house here, but little did you know, I own like 75 rental properties and I'm going to redo the windows and all of those houses. So they're like, you know what? If other people are pushing back against you and they're not on the same page, fuck them. Move on. Because all of these wonderful opportunities that are going to help you out in your material world are coming for you. So, um, yeah, if you're, if you're facing challenges with other people in regards to your abundance or um, in regards to your home, in regards to maybe it's like a lease problem or something if you're renting, if they're like, hey, yeah, we're going to raise your rent by like a few hundred dollars a month. Um, do you want to sign? But we won't do that if you sign for another five years. If you're like, I'm not comfortable doing that, just say fuck it and move. Okay, because something wonderful will show up for you is essentially what they're saying. What's going on with your emotional self? And they say you're maybe not doing enough self-love, self-care, but you're also not in these toxic, shitty situations either anymore. And so, you know, part of that is just like I want to be a little bit cautious or guarded with my money and my own inner strength like is better. Like I'm feeling more content. I feel more um, like anything is possible. I have more tact and control over my life. And so the details of, you know, um, really spoiling myself aren't so important anymore right now. And, you know, it's just not something that I feel like I really need to invest in. But what Spirit is telling you is it is actually important for you this month because as you're proving to the universe that you really love yourself, that you're taking time out to rest or um, to go see a movie or to get your nails done, whatever it is that you like to do that makes you feel good about you, um, taking an art class, something like that, like that's showing the universe that you do love you. And so it gives the universe a reason to love you. It gives other people a reason to love you because you're setting the example. Okay, so loving yourself is very important. So your crystal of the month is bismuth, actually. Um, so I've got a few different samples here. Isn't it beautiful and interesting that it is all of... This one is my personal favorite. I love this one. It's so multidimensional. There's like all these little crevices in it. It's super cute. We got a little half pyramid here. Anyway, um... What's interesting about the bismuth crystal for you is that it's uh, all of the chakra colors, right? And that's kind of what we were talking about. So it's like 
there's not a specific chakra that needs a tremendous amount of work this month. It's like we're going to focus on all of them. I had an experience with my own bismuth crystal the other day. Um, in this Mercury retrograde, I was feeling kind of icky. I had a migraine. I was working with all these crystals to get rid of it, which I should have done immediately. But instead, I tried, you know, water, rest, Excedrin <laughs> to no avail. Um, and then I and then I used this and it helped. So anyway. Um, but it was very, very powerful. You know, I I couldn't use it for very long because you put it above your crown chakra up here and it just radiates all the way through. And as I actually put it here, my I felt like a pressure just going through to my ears. Um, so anyway, with those, it's very, very powerful. Um, so you might want to use it in slow doses. But what it does is it increases your focus and your vis visualization. It helps you to not feel overwhelmed. And it's going to increase your physical energy level. So if you are kind of feeling down in the Mercury retrograde up until April 15th, this will be particularly helpful. It's going to get rid of any feelings of loneliness or isolation, which is important um, if you're feeling that way in regards to your love life when it's saying, you know what, it's maybe the best time to kind of just celebrate signs showing you you're on the right path, but not going out and finding love. Whereas, you know, maybe out of desperation or loneliness, we might want to go out and partner up with people who are wrong for us. And so this will help you to kind of get mastery over that sort of emotion. Um, it helps group situations and um, calms kind of everything, helps people to work together in romantic relationships or like at work, which might be helpful when, you know, you have reasons to celebrate. Not everybody's so happy for you, maybe because of jealousy or whatever else to keep things going. It helps with patience, which we need, it seems, this month. And courage, although you're coming into that energy, we could always have more of it. It protects the innocent. So this is a really good stone to put under your child's bed or something like that. It does a lot of things. Helps with chronic illness, muscle pain blah 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 you can find out more about it if you want on my website but that's the bismuth and it's totally your business to get one for yourself whether that's from like a local crystal shop um whether you dig one out of the earth to be honest i don't know where they come from maybe i wrote it down nope sometimes i do a really good job of record keeping where my stones come from um this time i didn't and i apologize but love and light and see you in may Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!